Hey everyone. And in this video, I want to show you a newish kind of standard that enables encryption for open networks. So if you go to somewhere like cafes or somewhere public when they offer Wi-Fi, that's usually unencrypted. Well, now you can have that encrypted. So I'll just show you um, what that looks like and show you some packet captures. So first of all, a bit of the config. I've just called the network name O. And generally, you'll have security open, meaning non-encrypted. You know, you can have the other stuff for pre-shared key or .1x stuff. But when you've got open here, you now have an option for enhanced open, which is what I've got selected for this um, demonstration. Now, if I look at this on error dump, I'll just pause this. These are the two networks in question. You've got one that's open, and you've got one here with WPA3 with um, OWE. And you can see it's got a hidden SSID, but we'll look at that in a minute. And what you can notice is the MAC address just increases by one between the, um, the open network here, the one called O, and this hidden one that's come up here. So what you've got is two SSIDs. You've got the original open one, which clients have traditionally connected to, and you've got this extra SSID now here with the um, WPA3 on it, which is what the client's gonna connect to. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll use the laptop here and connect to it and show you how it looks on here, and then look at some packet captures. Okay, what you can see on the laptop is I have this O network there, and it's got a padlock next to it indicating it's encrypted, but I haven't connected to this yet, so if I click on it, it just connects without asking me for a password. It'll just go do its thing, and there it is, I'm connected. So that's how that looks. Okay, so that's how it looked on the laptop. Now let's see how it looked in Wireshark. Okay, so here's how it looks, but I'll start with the beacons. So as I said, there's two beacons now for um, the open network and this hidden one here. And there's the MAC addresses that we saw. So if I look at the, um, the first one, the open network, you can see down here, there's nothing secure here. There's no tag called RSN, which is Robust Security Network. So like if I went to one of the others, you see it's got this RSN information, which I'll get to in a second. But this is a true open network. But what is here is a vendor-specific attribute from the Wi-Fi Alliance called OWE Transition Mode. And if I have a look at that, in there it contains the SSID to connect to. So that's the SSID of this hidden one here. It's right there. It also gives the, um, the BSS ID, which is the MAC address of that AP, the E2 on the end. But um, the, the client, as you'll see later, just did a broadcast probe anyway. But um, the main thing is it gives the SSID name of this other network for OWE transition. So now if the client supports that, it'll go to that other network that it got told about in the beacon from the open one. Okay, so it did its beacon. So you can see it does a probe request, probe request for SSID O, because that's what I saw on the laptop. Um, it does a probe request, gets a probe response, beautiful. Um, in that probe response, again, is that tag saying, hey, here's an SSID to connect to if you want to be uh, encrypted. So, okay, we acknowledge that. Now, you can see it's doing a probe request for that other SSID. Um, and it gets, of course, a probe response from it. Uh, so that's good and well. So now it's done that probe request and probe response, it can uh, connect to it. So it does the authentication, which is just an 802.11 handshake, basically. There's nothing special about that. Um, it gets an authentication reply, which just says success, like it'll take the connection. Now the client does an association request. And in that request, I'll just make this easier to read. In that request, again, we've got that field here. But this time, we've got a public key. So you can see the client is sending a public key to the AP. And in the association response, the AP also sends its public key. So you can see where this is going. They're negotiating keys using a public key infrastructure type thing where, you know, they'll keep their private keys private and they're randomly generated for that session. Sends a public key over, they send their public key back, they establish comms that way. So after that, as you can see here, you've got the standard four-way handshake here where they actually enable the session keys. And then you've got a secure link. Now, that's, that's pretty good, but I've got a, one problem with it is the fact that it creates an extra SSID and the more SSIDs you've got in the air, the more uh, congestion you've got in the air, and I like to keep that to a minimum. So I'm not thrilled about that, but if you really need it or want it, you can do that. Now, the actual, the way it makes that encryption, as you saw, it, it sent their um, public keys that are generated on the fly, so they're different every time. Um, I can't now sniff that from you know, a nearby laptop. Like when it was a pre-shared key, and if you know the password and capture the four-way handshake, you could decrypt all that traffic. But because this is generated sort of like .1x in a way where you don't know the pre-shared key, I can't decrypt that nearby. So it's good in that, in that regard, better than pre-shared key if you like. Um, but there's another problem with it too, is uh, there's no authentication that the AP is real. Like 
that's not necessarily the AP they thought they were connect, going to connect to. I could set up a rogue AP with the same SSID and because it's open, you might just connect to me anyway and I'll sniff all the traffic anyway. So I don't know that I'll ever deploy this because um, I don't see a, a real need for it because my way of thinking is if you're using public Wi-Fi, you want end-to-end -end encryption anyway. You know, you're gonna make sure that your comms from your client device to whatever server you're going to is encrypted, then it doesn't matter what's in the middle here. But it's something they've come up with and um, I wanted to show you how it works, so just thought I'd let you know. So anyway, that'll do for now. Till next time, take it easy.